is Lisa Michelle Garrett and this is my first YouTube channel video. It's going to talk about my weight loss journey. Um, 2006, I used to be 243 pounds and right now I'm teetering in the 170s, 168, 170, 175, 174, 172. 17 weeks I was on a plateau stuck in the 170s. You have to drink plenty of water and I'm so not perfect because sometimes I don't get all that water in but I so much like oh decided I would go out to Carol's this morning and have me a normal people's breakfast because I count points I'm on Weight Watchers. Any of you out there are on Weight Watchers? We're on a point system. So I get 30 points for the whole day. This breakfast that I'm eating is about equivalent to 24 points. I have 30 for the day. So I give you an idea of how much this food is really costing me. Is it worth it? <laughs> oh yeah, baby. This is what the actual breakfast looks like down there. I didn't get the one with the three eggs. I don't need three eggs and all of that meat and the potatoes. I opted for hash browns, but I did get that whipped cream though. Still got a little corner left. It was a lady that was here when I came in. Oh, I'll say she had to be about 500 pounds, give or take. And she was eating with her um, honey. They were sitting at a uh, table with the pull-out chair because I know full well she wasn't going to fit behind this booth. And usually my stomach is touching on this booth and it's not, which is amazing in itself. Because oh, I'd have been through some things. I saw the lady just breaking the food, breaking the food in the mouth, just breaking the food. And I'm like, do you know Lisa, did you used to do that? You have a mindset that you think somebody's going to take that food away from you. I don't know, but when I saw that lady and I got to thinking about it, it made me cry. It just makes me misty <laughs> every time I talk about it because that was me. I wasn't 500 pounds, but it was me and it just really just touches the pit of my soul. And I found myself after she left, I was eating my food. And I'm so used to being at work with the little 30 minute break and they rush you. You gotta get that food in because this is all the time you got. You got 30 minutes to shove the food down your throat. So when you're at work, take your time and eat. Get something that you can eat, you can put in your pocket. Because some of that stuff I have at work, put down in my jacket pocket and I continue to break as I go on my way. Because I'm not going to be shoving no food down my throat. It sets you up for failure. So I just want you to know that this is a journey. I have a photo here I got out of my purse. I keep these with me to help hold me accountable. And this was in 2006 at my highest at 243. And everybody says, oh, is that your sister? Face looks like you. Could be you. Oh, yeah, it's me. Look at my sweet son. He's 25 now. Ooh, time flies, child, doesn't it? <laughs> and I have one more. I have many. You can't, I can't show you all of them be in photo heaven. But this is me as well. You see how exhausted my face looks? I was just tired. Tired of carrying that weight, exhausted all the time. And always thinking about the next meal. When I'm eating breakfast, what am I going to eat for lunch? What am I going to eat for dinner? Am I going to have a snack? This plate of food that I have right here, I would eat like this all day, every day. That was the problem, but the key to most of it, you have to burn more calories than you take in. It sounds easy. Oh yeah, it sounds easy. Not necessarily. Because you know what? That itis, that itis starts setting in, I feel like doing nothing. But right when we leave here, on the I'm going to park far away from the door. I got my Fitbit on. I get at least on a really, really good day, I get 23,000 steps. And it's amazing. Before I couldn't get past the 10,000. 10, and now I look at the 10,000 and say, is that it? This is all you got for the day? Oh my God, this is horrible. I think I got only 13 yesterday. Hear me? Only 13. Ah! Take what you can 
can get. It's more than what some people are getting. It's more steps than me sitting on that couch greasing because I know I can put it away. I love food. I have a food addiction. And I want a journey categorized. And I want to let y'all know. This is a food addiction. You know, this food would have been gone by now. All of it. It would have been gone. I'm eating it slow. I'm having a conversation. I have coffee here. It's my second cup, but this is going to be breakfast and lunch. I'll have dinner later on tonight at work. Probably eat me some old fresh apple. Make it work, work it out. Oh, I have to tell myself, yes, it's Christmas, fresh, it's exciting. Have some fruit, balance it out with vegetables. All that stuff is just really important, people. I can't tell you enough, but this is my first YouTube video. I will be back, and I will have one for you every day, no matter how I feel. No matter if I'm out eating something. I won't say, a Weight Watchers, I'll just put this out really quick. A Weight Watchers, you can eat anything you want to eat. Do you want to pay for it? I'm paying for it. It's about 24 points. I got 34 today. Oh, and we get weeklies. I was, when I was 168, which lasted for a whole week. When I was 168, I had got down to 28 weeklies. You get weeklies, that's your cushion points. Extra change, if you may. Um, got down to 28 weeklies. Oh, I'm back up to 35, but I said, eh. Mind you, I'm already minus three from yesterday into those 35 weekly points. But like I said, I walk a lot. I don't mind. I'm usually on Connect, though. When you join Weight Watchers, you get a subscription to Connect. They have a beautiful online community for you good people. It's Facebook-ish, but it's better. The people support you, don't talk about you. They actually click like. Go figure. Ah! We need people to support us. I'm here to tell you, if I can do this, Lord knows anybody can. I'm 50 years old. Those photos I was showing you, I was in my early 40s. In another one, I was in my 20s. I'm 50 years old, people. Do you see? Do you see what the 50 can look like? This is what 50 looks like now. And I'm wearing my own t-shirt that I did the artwork on the computer. Can you stand it? It's an extra large. They run in a little small. I wear medium, but this is an extra large. This shirt is called Pop You Large. You can go on Redbubble and check it out. Order it big if you're a big girl. I'm still got some meat on me. Okay. Order this is an extra large, so it's giving you an idea. I'm probably gonna order me a, a one or two X so I can get me some slack. I don't like my stuff fitting like this, you know. I'm still feeling this some kind of way, but you know. www.redbubble.com slash people slash artist diva. We're going over there and support an artist. An artist is not a starving artist. I am far from starving. Does it look like I'm starving? No. Until next time, my good people, I'll see you later. Let's have coffee together tomorrow.